Girl, get up. It is time to get out of that slump. Let's try something new today. back again with another video and this is raid nation two freaking times y'all today i got a kind of busy day today i'm exiting my lazy girl era so we finna get into it i hope you guys like this video like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i post and it is currently like 13 degrees outside and i want to take some pictures today but i don't know where to take pictures at in 13 degree weather I'm gonna have to keep jumping in and out my car, in and out the car, in and out the car. And our pipes are currently froze, so today I had to wash up and do, do a bird bath. So don't judge me. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. I was kind of getting discouraged. So I'm like, Ugh. how I'm about to do this vlog? Going outside, ain't even washed up. But you know we gotta keep the ball rolling. Oh, snowy out. Oh, snowy out. It's okay. We we gonna keep. It. We accidentally screw. We can't make no excuses. So I am all dressed and ready to go on about my day. I'm finna take pictures first because it's sunny outside, but it's still freezing. So I got layers on. I got layers on. I look cute though. Warm, gotta stay warm. Look at the chain. I am currently at a garage, about to take my pictures. I tried to do some outside, but it's too goddamn windy. My hair won't stay still. Keep getting my lip gloss. So I decided to come to a garage and we want to take something in the stairwell. Usually when it get cold, I be like, oh, uh-uh, but no, we ain't doing that this year. We got to do what we got to do. All right, exiting my lazy girl era. Lazy girl era is gone. Step one, figure out what you love to do. Something you can talk about all day, nonstop. If you are unsure what you like to do, then I suggest that you get out and explore. Never be afraid to try new things. If you continue to do what you always do, then you'll get the results that you've always got. All these freaking pictures, because I take them on lens buddy and I take it in the burst mode, so I don't miss a second, I don't miss a beat, a pose, a face, a nothing. But I do need to get some gas in my car. I'm on 44 miles, y'all. Once it get cold outside, I get to being lazy and I don't feel like putting gas in my car. I don't feel like standing outside and pumping no gas. The heck? Like, it's too cold to be standing outside pumping gas. Even if it's for a couple minutes. I don't, I don't care. Y'all, I'm at all these. And I end up getting this messed up car. Y'all hear this? Doing the most. Got me peed off. Probably can't even hear me. Out, oh, man, this is what my cart is looking like so far. I just went shopping, so I don't need too much. I just need some stuff. Y'all, I am home and my head's hurting, so I'm gonna make me two peanut butter and jellies real quick because I'm pretty hungry and I don't feel like making nothing because my head's hurting. I need something fast, like right now, like ASAP. No, okay. I'm just being for real, like, I need to move away from the cold. Come on, man. Come on, yo. Like, for real, for real, like. I got these because I wanted to try these out. This lotion because I've been needing some new lotion. And Nivea is like the best, like. Hey y'all, I just got to eat my peanut butter and jelly. I'm about to go downstairs and put these groceries away. I was starting to get back in my lazy girl era. I had to get out that lazy girl. But I'm gonna get a haul. What I got at the store, okay. Aldi's haul, and yes, I've been shopping at Aldi before it was a trend, like everybody calls it a trend. Everything is to shing, but Aldi's is just like a shing, like you won't spend that much money. I got some strawberries, I'm gonna have to wash these and chill for teals because I want to make some chicken wraps, not tonight, but maybe tomorrow night or this weekend. Some sweet potatoes because I want to teach myself how to make some yams, like <laughs> make my little some yams, like um. I got me some blueberries, but I got some bananas because this is my last one from last week and 
I got them real green because they need to last me. I need some potatoes, some potatoes. But I got me some carrots. I don't eat carrots a lot. I don't really like carrots, but y'all, I need to be more healthy. And I'm trying to be healthy because health is well. And also, um, I just be thinking about, cause since I work with older people, I be thinking about like when I get old, I do not want to be certain ways that I see people. So I'm trying to keep up with myself as much as I can while I'm young. You know, that's the best way to do it. Don't be thinking just cause you young, it ain't gonna hurt. No, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Bagels, I be tearing bagels up like to the ground. Uh, honey wheat bread I just used for my pb and J's. I use honey wheat. Your girl, I look cute today, like, period, period, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's up, y'all? I'm back upstairs, and I'm gonna give y'all some tips on how to exit your lazy girl era. First, you gotta want to, okay? Because I wanted to so bad. It took me a while to get out of my slump, you know? But I got up out of my slump. When you wake up in the morning, don't touch your phone. Don't start scrolling. Don't text anyone yet. Get up out the bed and make your bed first. I seen something. This I think I was reading something. It was a. It was in my book. One of these books I read. It said, if you get up and make your bed, almost every morning you already felt like you accomplished something. So then it keeps making you want to keep doing something else, and you ain't gonna really want to get back in your bed once you make it. So now, ever as soon as I hop on my bed, I make that thing. I've been trying not to get on my phone as soon as I wake up because I catch myself. When I, when I get on my phone, when I first wake up in the morning, what do you do? Keep scrolling, hours go by, and you be like, dang, I didn't been in this bed for this long and wasted all this time of my life on social media. And it didn't do anything for you. So it's okay to be on social media, but you gotta limit your time on social media. You gotta know when to back off social media. And a lot of people don't know how to back off on social media. So there was a point in time where I didn't know how to be either. So I ain't judging nobody. Do your morning routine, get yourself together. Don't matter if you're staying in the house anything get up and get moving that's like the main thing for me stay off that phone i started reading books and you can read books and still not get out of your lazy girl that's why i said either way you have to want to get out of it because you can read a whole bunch of books and don't apply none of it to your life none of it but you have to actually read and want to do better to do better i'll give y'all some books that i've been reading so i'm christian so I read these every morning, Jesus Calling. Uh, they're devotionals every day. This is for kids, but it's easier for me to read because you know those words <laughs> in regular Bibles and stuff, I, I don't be knowing. I got this book, it's called The Secret. And since I'm a Christian, it always says like the universe does things for you. When I read it, I just apply it to myself as God doing something for me, not the universe. This is actually a good book to read. It changed my perspective on a lot of things and it made me watch my mouth about a lot of things I say and a lot of things I do. Next, you want to pick up the Holy Bible and get to study. Pick up the Holy Bible and study this thing. You ain't got to know every verse by heart. I don't even know a verse by heart. Next, I just finished this one a couple, like a week ago. It's called, This Is How You Heal. And it's 101 essays that will change the way you think and it literally will change the way you think. I don't play. Always keep wanting to do better. Always keep reading new things, wanting to learn new things, try new things because life is, um, I always say life is a journey because it literally is a journey. It is what you make it, for sure. Because I used to make it horrible and now I changed to make it want to be good. And now life is pretty good for me. So I'm currently on this. My little boo thing recommended this book to me. And I've been loving it. Atomic Habits. This is what made me want to do this video. Because I'm like, get out of my lazy girl era. Because I've been had some bad habits. Like, And it literally, this is like, I'm only like 50 pages in. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, if you want to be a certain person, you have to do the things the person does. If you want to be a business owner, you need to act like a business owner now. Even if you haven't started your business, act like a business owner now. You got to move the way a business owner would move. You got to move the way a healthy girl would move. You got to move the way a productive girl would move. And there's basically like, you got to stop thinking like, if you go to the gym, you want to lose weight, right? The one weekend you're looking at the results, huh? I haven't lost any weight yet. You're looking at the end of the road, you gotta look at it now, and you just gotta be consistent because consistency will build you to the person you want to be. Be patient because everything isn't going to be overnight. 
you're still gonna make you're still gonna make mistakes even if you become when you become the person you want to be so don't be so hard on yourself and just keep going and push every day push yourself in a routine put yourself in a routine of the person you want to be imagine what the person you want to who the person is that you want to be what do they do on a daily basis y'all i'm at the gas station i'm finna get a one more after this but i got this pump in itself i can't even see it too cold to be standing out there i'm gonna just let it fill up because I ain't got time to keep coming back to this gas station. It's getting too cold outside. Nobody wants to come to that salute. Mm -mm. Heck no. Nah, just fill me up. Call me up, please. Call me up, please. $28. Let's see how high it go. It shouldn't go no higher than no $35. My car don't even usually take that. Yo. Yo, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. You can make me broke. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. What did he say? What did he say? Like, like I say, like I say, it still say 32 miles, but you see me up, but you see me up. Hey, just making it to Walmart to get my freaking vitamins, and I'm using this gift card that I got from my job, but it's not from my job, it's from one of the family members at my job. I got two gift cards from them specifically to me, like it, 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 it. Okay, y'all, I got these vitamins because something, when it gets cold off, my energy gets low because my vitamin D gets really, really low. It's about that time again when it gets cold, my energy is really low. So I decided to get these. Um, they are for energy, stamina, sexual health, immunity, and mood. So, yeah, this brand is Force Factor. They got all different types of stuff for different things. So, yeah. I'm about to be on my way to the gym now, so what time is it, y'all? What time is it? Okay, 7.45. Doing good on time. I mean, we're going to leave the gym around 9 o'clock, make it home. Yeah. We on good time. We on good time, bookies. It's got that I'm after. I just can't serve too fast. No, I can't just have my cake and eat it too. Better look in your face. Tell me why you look so fine, baby girl. Broccoli. I'm about to clean this. This is my first time making broccoli from this because I usually make it from a bag. But your girl's trying to step up. Your girl's trying to, but yeah, your girl's trying to, yeah. Almost forgot to show y'all. Put some baking soda in there, baking powder, whatever it is. Then I gotta get some vinegar. Ooh, it's a bizzle. So y'all, y'all seen the meal. This is my first time making this stuffed salmon and it's my first time making broccoli. Let's try this salmon. Okay, let's try the stuffing. Mmm, it's actually good. <laughs> 